I would never have guessed if you had talked with me five years ago and someone said to me that I would be working with businesses on sustainability, um, I would have said, you're crazy. I never had any interest in business. In fact, I was probably hostile to business. I viewed business as the enemy. Um, I, really, I really felt like the only way we were going to get business and entrepreneurs to do the right thing was to drag them kicking and screaming to the table. Now, four years later, um, after working with the foremost sustainable entrepreneurs in New Hampshire, Maine, and Massachusetts, I have a totally different story to tell. In fact, it's been those business leaders that have actually been leading the charge from my perspective. Um, I see every day new business leaders coming forward and inspiring consumers and community members and individuals raising the bar on sustainability, showing folks that sustainability is no longer just a fringe movement, that this is something that we're all involved in and that is actually good business. Um, the first thing I'd like to talk about with sustainability and um, capitalism, because I think they're actually a great match, um, is to invite everybody in the room to think about what what do you think about when you think about a career in sustainability or allying your work and your life really truly with your values? And especially if you have environmental values and ethics, you know, if you were to apply that to a job and a career, what would that look like? I think a lot of people, and probably myself included until I had the experience of the Green Alliance, would have had a very narrow definition of what that would look like. So, okay, well, I want to work in environmentalism. Maybe that means I'm going to have to work in a nonprofit. No offense, I love nonprofits, Justine. <laughs> um, or, okay, I'm going to, I'll work in a nonprofit, or, you know, maybe I'll, I'll just go out there and install solar panels. So, I think we still tend to have a very narrow perception of what sustainability means in the workplace and how we can integrate that in our lives and our careers. My work in the Green Alliance has shown me that there's actually a much broader um, definition and the possibilities to integrate sustainability and actually to take that one step further to integrate your progressive values and your ethics into your actual work is so broad and so endless that it's, it's, it's just exciting to think about the fact that we don't have to settle anymore. We don't have to take jobs or do jobs that are not aligned with who we fundamentally are as a person, what the things that we believe in. Um, and, and I think that in order to imagine that, we have to realize that sustainability goes so far beyond renewable energy um, and sort of the things that are right in front of you, or even advocacy, that sustainability affects every single piece of our lives. It affects every product that we purchase, it affects every service that we might use, um, and it should be integrated into our work. So when I started the Green Alliance four years ago, it was just myself. I had no employees. I actually had one unpaid intern from UNH, bless his soul. He was amazing. He helped me get the Green Alliance off the, off the ground. And I had two business partners. I was working with two um, sustainable entrepreneurs, um, a biofuels company, and um, an organic lawn care company. And these two guys were entrepreneurs first and foremost. So that was two businesses that I had in the Green Alliance. Now, four years later, I have 115 businesses in the Green Alliance. It's a, it's a really incredible um, testament to where um, entrepreneurialism and business has, has come in terms of sustainability and environmental performance. You know, I just, I suggest that we, we consider the broad spectrum of sustainability for both ourselves in our lives as well as for um, in our work. And I'd like to move a little bit to that and, and ask people to think about um, thinking for yourself out of the box in your job. And it doesn't really matter what it is that you're doing. Um, and it doesn't really matter. I mean, yes, it's nice if it's coming from the top up. If the owner of the business that you work in is on board with sustainability, that's great. You're probably going to see that coming down, and you're going to see that you know, it, throughout uh, the company. But if you don't have that coming from leadership, I would suggest that about half of the businesses that I work with in the Green Alliance, their sustainability initiatives are coming from bottom up. 
So they have innovative employees who are going to the boss and saying, look, we could be recycling in a more effective way. We, you know, coming with innovative ideas. And that is what I would like to at least address the young people in this room, because I, I feel like this generation gets it on sustainability. You guys are all on board. You've been learning about what we've done to our planet and how we need to change that. But then the next question comes, how can you apply that to your life's work? And does that mean that you have to dedicate your whole life to a sustainable career? I would suggest that you can make any career sustainable, any career. I want, I want the young people to imagine that a career in sustainability can be created anywhere. It can be created in any profession. Um, and if we start thinking in that way, then we will have we will have individuals, I like to call them moles, in every business, in every industry that is almost, in, we're talking about almost inventing your dream job. So we all know, I mean, how many times now have young people today heard about how hard the economy is and how hard it is to find that good job when you get out of college? And I suggest, I suggest inventing that job. So if you're interested in engineering, if you're interested in the building trades, that you learn those set of skills and then you also apply some innovation. And I do believe that the innovation, most of the innovation that we're going to see come forward is coming from sustainability because it all comes back to our resources. Do we have enough resources to continue living the way that we're living without impacting the planet in a very serious way? No, we know that that doesn't, that we cannot continue the way that we've been doing things. So now you're talking about innovators in any business who can come up with ideas that can save the company money, that can save resources, that can help the company think out of the box, that also helps a company grow. In this competitive climate, um, and this is actually really probably the biggest reason that businesses work with us, is that we help the businesses to, to differentiate from their competitors, so that if we look at, for instance, Wade Landscaping, there's probably 20 other landscaping companies in the area that he has to compete with. So how does um, Diane Dem, I'll use her as an example because I know she cares about sustainability, she's up after me. If Diane is living here in Dover and she needs to get some landscaping done um, at her home, how does she find a company that is, you know, is allied with her ethics? So, you know, we're, we're, things are changing. We no longer want to just pick up the phone book, or, and of course nobody uses the phone book anymore, look online and see the list of all the landscapers. Well, I want to know more. I want to know the landscaper that's doing things differently. I want to, know, I want to work with a landscaper that's mulching, um, you know, the clippings from the trees that they do in my yard. You know, so this becomes an innovator. This becomes an access for young people to help themselves stand out and help businesses stand out. Um, I have to, I'm going to go to my notes here. I do want to go back a little bit um, to your role as a consumer because these two things can't exist without each other. Um, we have had success with the businesses in the Green Alliance wanting to engage in sustainability because they know they're seeing that the customer will reward them. The only way that businesses will step forward and make these changes is if they know that on the other side, there are rewards to that. So this is something that we need to think about balancing both our, our lifestyle choices with the careers that we are choosing and how we're operating in our jobs. So I just ask you to consider the breadth now of sustainability that, and, and, that your, and your role in, in both the business part and the career part and your role as a community member and a, and a consumer. Thank you very much.